Hey guys, welcome back. I was trying to jailbreak an iPad for a while, and I guess uh, you need a developer's paid account to use the impactor. So I was just messing around. Um, that's either SIDA installed in Phoenix. And it was pretty easy. You can see it's jailbroken. And I just used this tool here, three U tools. I'm going to unjailbreak it and then show you how I did it without having a paid developer account. Okay. Okay, so we uh, unjailbroke this iPad. So now it's not jailbroken. And now we're going to jailbreak it. So first thing, download 3U Tools. We're gonna open that up. And the first page you're gonna see is whether it's jailbroken or not. You can see here it's not. Just click on jailbreak now. And then here it'll give you a list of all the programs that can jailbreak your iDevice. I click on the one that's available and click start jailbreak. Simple as that. This program is so easy to use for your jailbroke. You can see we have a developer app. So just click OK. And what we want to do is click on this. We want to click Trust and Trust. OK, dismiss, verify app. Okay, we have to open that up. Hmm, it's not verified. Let's turn on and off the computer or the uh, iPad. Okay. Let's see if we can do it again. It doesn't want to verify for me. Just delete up. Let's go to jailbreak again. We'll close iTunes. Click on this again. Yeah, we want him to tell you he's hungry. I think he does. Okay. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't want to verify. Oh, no. Yeah. So I did first try breastfeeding. Oh, you know what it is? Got to sign in. Yeah. Let me go ahead and sign in. I was just about to uninstall and reinstall, but then I figured. Okay, so before we got interrupted there by the newborn, uh, I was going to uh, figure out why Phoenix is not working. 
And then I realized I don't have any Wi-Fi. So it could be something as simple as as Wi-Fi. So we're going to enable Wi-Fi. All right, now that we got Wi-Fi, which was probably the simplest fix, let's go ahead and try and trust the developer. So go to manage profile. And now it's saying verified. So now that we're verified, go back to the app, open it up. Should say your iPad is not jailbroken. Click on prepare for jailbreak, accept, and proceed with jailbreak. And then it will want to install, begin installation. And we're going to press use provided offset. And just let it reboot and restart. And we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so now we're going to close this. And uh, see if it changes. And it's still saying it's not jailbroken. So let's go through it again. Accept. Proceed. Begin. Let's wait for it again. Hopefully second time's a charm. Okay, so now we got a new app. Sadia. So let's close this. Try to open it again. It's still saying no jailbreak. So let's try to click on this. Okay, so it restarted. I took out the USB, plugged it back in. And there we have it. Jailbroken, yes. So, install. And I'll just read over this, but that's how you jailbreak an iPhone, or, sorry, iPad. It's pretty easy. Just download three new tools. I'll leave a link at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe.